what's going on you guys welcome back to my channel i am showing my retail off right here and to let you guys know i am having an early black friday sale 30 percent off all you have to do is use the code that is popped up on the screen so here is my client we are actively treating his skin for acne and hyperpigmentation so that is what we're going to do today i wanted to let everyone know that if you have any questions about any machines handheld tools or appliances that i have in my spa feel free to check out my amazon store it is going to be down below in the description and you can check out everything that i have in my amazon store from things that i use in the spa to personal life to things that i use at home or you know decorations etc so yeah happy shopping and we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this video with using the Lyra Clinical Bioenzyme Cleanser. This cleanser is great for um, removing surface debris and it's ideal for all skin types. The key ingredients are pineapple, papaya enzymes, alpine rose plant stem cells, grape plant stem cells, and also grapefruit extract. I have recently incorporated using sponges back into my treatments and I think it's beneficial for me and my clients because I don't have to do so much work with my hands. From time to time I do have cramps when you know doing a lot of clients throughout of my day. Um, so yeah using the sponges helps to also gently exfoliate the skin. Moving into the next cleanser, this is the Clear Cell Salicylic Gel Cleanser by Image Skincare. It has 2% salicylic acid, arnica, montano, and tea tree. This is going to help to cleanse away excess oil and sebum without stripping the, the moisture from the skin. It also gently exfoliates pore clogging surface skin cells with salicylic acid, a proven acne fighting ingredient. And it leaves the skin smooth and soft, not dry and tight. I wanted to share with y'all that each cleanse typically lasts around two to three minutes. If I feel like um, I need to cleanse the skin a little bit longer, I will. It just varies on how I feel that day, what I feel like the client needs, etc. I switch up every now and again how I decide to edit the videos. Right here, I am showing you real time. It is not chopped up or you know anything like that to the point where um, I'm speeding up the process of what I am actually removing this cleanser off. I know some people enjoy the real time, some people enjoy it sped up, but I just wanted to give y'all a little, you know, insight on the time that it takes for me to actually do certain steps. Moving into this lemon zest enzyme, it has um, colgic acid in it, arbutin, lactic acid in it, and glycolic acid. It is going to do great at brightening, exfoliating, and hydrating the skin. And this is typically left on the skin for about 7 to 10 minutes, depending on the client's tolerance. Depends if the steam is left on or if I put like the cooler fans on. Removing this product, I'm going to make sure it's thoroughly removed and we are going to start extractions. Heads up, the extraction videos are pretty lengthy. The time marker at which they are finished is around 7 minutes and 10 seconds. If you are an extraction video watcher, then enjoy these extractions. If you wanted to zoom forward, you are more than welcome to. I appreciate those who are watching the video fully through. As you can see, a lot of his extractions that are needed are underneath the skin. His skin is not inflamed with his acne. It is actually very calm. And unless you knew what to look for, you you know, you would assume that he didn't need any, any extractions. Um, but as you can see, they are coming up to the surface pretty easily. And at the same time, he is really tough because these extractions are not painless. These do hurt. They are uncomfortable more in other um, areas of the face sometimes. But um, yeah, we're going to get through these. 
and I'm just going to let these ride out and I'm not going to talk too much for those who are wanting to enjoy these just with the music and a little silence. Enjoy. Now that the extractions are finished, I'm going to create a cocktail mask with the Image Clear Cell Medicated Acne Mask. This acts as a spot treatment or you can use it as an overall remedy for acne breakouts. This has clay in it as well as the Lyra Clinical Refining Mask. The image has salicylic and glycolic acids to reduce buildup of skin. It also delivers a beneficial antioxidant and botanicals that lessen the appearance of redness and irritated skin. The Lyra Clinical also has salicylic and lactic acid, um, charcoal, peptides, ni niacinamide, and uh, brightening botanicals. So they both work together amazingly um, to calm the skin and draw out all those impurities and oils from the skin. As you can see, um, this is coming off pretty easily for a clay mask. Estes, I highly recommend that if you know you're going to be applying some type of clay mask or dry mask, make sure that your hot towels are pretty moisturized. Well, not moisturized, but moist. A lot of times the hot towel warmer can, you know, soak up and evaporate a lot of the, the moisture from the towels. So make sure that you don't wring them out completely. It makes a humongous difference with removal of clay mask because if they're if your towels are too dry it is going to be almost impossible um or it take like a really long time for the clay mask to be removed and it's uncomfortable for your client No acne treatment is complete without some high frequency. So of course, I am going to treat his entire face. And a little tip for all my estheticians and skin enthusiasts out there that are treating themselves. 
when working with high frequency i know it is very tempting to want to turn it up to the highest that it may go it's smart to start out lower and increase the um volume on this as your skin gets acclimated to it because i know we we try to you know atomic bomb any breakout or any situation that we may have on our skin um when in fact that can cause more damage than you know fixing and correcting the situation so start out slow and steady um that always wins the race and works best with skincare This toner that I'm wiping on his face is the Clarifying Solution Toner from Skin Script. It has 2% salicylic acid, 2% glycolic acid, and tea tree. With this toner, you're going to want to make sure that you wipe the area that you're treating thoroughly and also let it dry completely before applying any product on top of it. Wrapping up this facial, I am going to use the Clear Cell Medicated Acne Lotion from Image Skincare. This has a fast acting benzoyl peroxide that attacks acne causing bacteria to treat acne, blackheads, and clogged pores at the source. And as well, of course, I'm going to be mixing it together with the Image Skincare Daily Matte SPF and Moisturizer. Finishing off with the Image or Medic Lip Balancing Complex, I always get a couple giggles and laughs from my male clients because they automatically assume that it's lip gloss, but I remind them and let them know this is not lip gloss, you guys. <laughs> but some of them don't even care. They're like, that's okay, I want the full experience, and that's what's up. So we are finished with this facial. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, any remarks please leave them down in the comment section i'm going to do my best to reach back and reply to everyone see you guys later